Hi, welcome to Coursing, specialized in online corporate and video based training. My name is Khalil and I'm your trainer. I know why you're watching this video. You're watching this video because you want to become DevOps expert and you are at the right place. I would help you to become DevOps expert and we are going to start with this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is DevOps. So let's get started. Let me start with a quick introduction of mine. My name is Khalil Kautia and I'm a solution architect and the founder of software consultancy company started back in 2015. I also provide consultancy services to various organizations from USA, Europe, Middle East, UK on various stages of application development lifecycle. I love to learn new technologies to make life easier, but learning new technology, it's not easy if you don't have appropriate resources as per your need. And that's the main reason we at the coursing make sure that you get the best resources to become an expert in your choice of area. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is DevOps and to understand DevOps, we have to go a little back in the past. We would be discussing challenges of waterfall model and how we can fix those challenges using agile methodology. But again, to support agile methodology, we need to improvise processes, reduce time, cut down the cost. And that's where we are going to discuss what is DevOps and benefits of it. If you have around more than 10 years of experience, 10 or 12 years of experience, you must have come across through the term called waterfall software development lifecycle. Waterfall is a, it's a, it's a kind of guidance, it's a software development guidance which has multiple stages like requirement gathering, system designing, development, that's where you know developers write the code, testing, deployment and maintenance. Now the servers which are developed using waterfall typically has a longer life cycle. You know, starts with minimum six months and goes on six months, one year, two years, five years. When I say life cycle, which means that once you have requirements freezed, then you know until the software is designed, development, tested, and deployed, you again do not go back to the requirement analysis. So that cycle is, you know, generally minimum starts with six months to one year. Now, in this uh, model, there are a couple of challenges. Like, as I mentioned that until I finish the deployment, I cannot go back to the requirement analysis. And in case if I go back, then again, I have to start the complete cycle from scratch. So here, it's very difficult to accommodate the changes requested by the client once you finish a requirement stage. Also, you know, once let's say requirements are freezed and then, you know, the designing is done, development started, testing and maintenance. And like I mentioned, it's a minimum six month cycle. So customer will not have a clear picture of like how the product is going to look like at, at the end of the cycle. So. You know, the feedback time is very longer here because customer has to test application and then come back with the feedback. And that's where the developers has challenges because uh, developers need to know like, you know, if the, the, the development which is done is as per the requirements by the customer or, you know, customer is looking for any changes. So, you know, at the right stage, or at, the time, at the right time, you need to, you know, make those changes. So that's, that's a bit difficult here. So the questions are, how to overcome through these challenges? What can be done so that every stakeholder is continuously informed about the progress of software development? When I say stakeholder, the you know, stakeholder means every, every individual member who is into the, you know, in, into the software development from requirement to deployment. How easily we can accommodate those changes into the software development without, you know, waiting for the long 
feedback from the customer. So this is where, you know, agile methodology perfectly fits. What agile methodology is proposing to break down your software development into the multiple iterates and each and each iterative would have its own cycle its own life cycle which you can see you know start with defining the requirement get the requirements you know change request UI designing development then testing UAT so you have a complete up software development requirement and then you divide those requirements into the small small milestones and each milestone will go through this cycle and that is you know that that makes sense because you know you will not our customer will not wait for the complete software development uh, to be finished because now in agile methodology every milestone you know a customer is involved a client is involved a team is involved a QA team is involved and that is what you know increases the confidence of the client you know making sure that the development is under the progress it is under the control and everyone is properly informed but when we try to implement this methodology agile methodology then it comes with few other challenges challenges like how you know all the team members who are involved in the cycle are going to be coordinating with each other how the source code will be integrated on a centralized location and then will be deployed automatically on every milestone or let's say you know as we discussed there are there could be multiple milestones so let's say as we discussed before like there are a couple of milestones let's say milestone one is already delivered and milestone two is under the testing so testing team has to make sure that the changes which made into the second milestones do not affect the milestone one uh, you know solutions or the deliverables so every time a TV, QA team has to make sure that it tests the complete solution you know beginning from milestone one till the the final deliverables teams how to be coordinated closely with each other think about a scenario a typical scenario where you know the develop uh, the requirement gathering took around you know 10 days and then development took around 20 days and then testing 20 days so 40 days plus deployment five days so it's like 45 days you know you require uh, you know you require to deliver one milestone and by the time you deliver the milestone on the 45th day a developer already has started working on the milestone too so the, the feedback which you receive on the 45th day from the customer is very difficult to accommodate those you know changes or those requests into the development because already that development already you know has been on the way of deliverables so we have a, a longer time you know from a requirement gathering till the deployment so these are the challenges which we have so we need to fix it those challenges and that is where DevOps comes into the picture DevOps is a word comes from the developers and the operation team so dev from the developers and ops from the operation teams who are developers developers team so that's uh, like you know the people who design the system UI designers who design the user interface the people who write the code and also testing team because it helps developers to fix the issues and you know troubleshoot that we have another team which is operation team where we have a DBA help desk team a DBA team is like you know the changes which you require to make into the databases help desk uh, where you have a ticket system which you know where you have the feedback coming from the client and to be passed to the developers a deployment team and infrastructure team very crucial teams because these guys are mainly responsible for you know deploying milestones on the hosting servers 
where the applications are hosted. And if it's a small organization, you might have around three or five servers, but if it's a big organization, you might have around 100, 200, 500,000 servers. So whenever you receive that milestone, you have to make sure that you know, these changes are deployed on all the servers. And that's that's very important and crucial role. So that's where the deployment team and infrastructure team plays a very important role. Right? So as we discuss in Agile methodology, these teams has to work together closely so that you know we avoid the confusions, we avoid conflicts, we avoid you know time taking processes, so cut down the time where you know the processes are delayed because of the dependencies on each other. So, how DevOps helps? DevOps is it's not the tool, it's not an application, it's not a software, it's, it's about the best practices, it's about what other processes can be implemented or how you know we can improvise the processes so that we can cut down the time, we can reduce the costing we can automate those activities, we can improve the coordinations and that is what DevOps recommends. DevOps recommends that try to automate the processes as much as possible, try to have a stabilized automated deployment environment so that each servers are sync with each other. Okay, so DevOps is all about following best practices and we follow this best practices by using different kind of tools available into the market. In my coming up videos, I'm going to talk about different DevOps tools and you know which tools is more suitable for what kind of requirements. So in case you know if you want to get to be notified, you can follow us on social media. Okay, so here uh, now we have a clear understanding about what is DevOps. Now how so DevOps is going to benefit us. It's going to benefit organizations. It going, it's going to benefit teams involved into the complete software development cycle. So like based on the proposals or based on the best practices recommended by you know, DevOps, it helps you to cut down the time. It helps you to cut down the time from development to feedback. It saves a lot of money because now the time which you were taking for the manual activities has been reduced using some tools available in the market. It's very easy to maintain because automated the tools which are uh, you know automate the processes make sure that you know all the servers are in sync, all the latest versions of the software so the in you know third party tools which requires are you know available on all the servers. So it increases the faster development deployment and that is where the stability comes into the picture. And once you have a stable, quick uh, deliverables, then of course customer is happy. So uh, cutting down the cost, cutting down the money, and you are involving customer on regular intervals because you have increased, you have improvised the, you know, you have reduced the time for the feedback uh, which you require from the customer. Right, makes sense so far. So this is where DevOps is very, very helpful uh, to the teams and to organizations. So that is all about DevOps in this video. I hope you liked this video and expected something from this video. So I would definitely love to hear from you. And whatever you think about this video, please email on coursing at gmail.com and get free into the question and answers. You can follow us on social media and you can learn more about DevOps or the upcoming videos so you will get notified automatically. So please follow us on social media and you know thumbs up if you have liked this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Kali and I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.